Sharice Warren with a news briefing. A bit of an update in the Novak Djokovic saga. The federal government has lost a bid to have an extra two days to ready its case against the world number one. The Age is reporting Home Affairs Minister Karen Andrews applied to the court last night, but the judge refused to push back the case. Djokovic's legal team has argued that the Australian travel declaration assessment indicated he met entry requirements for quarantine-free travel. It all goes down tomorrow. South Australia has recorded another COVID death, a man in his 90s in aged care. 4,506 cases there today, and State Health Minister Stephen Wade says a decision on the return to school will be made by the end of the week. Uh, during this week, we'll be able to get additional uh, modelling data. It's really important to appreciate that, that the public health advice will depend on where we think we'll be uh, in terms of the, the disease at the opening of the, uh, of the schools. Meantime, Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews has extended the state's pandemic declaration for another three months in response to Omicron. And WA has recorded two new cases, one locally acquired, the other from interstate travel. An Adelaide United defender, Josh Cavallo, has called out homophobic abuse from the crowd during the A-League match against Melbourne Victory last night. The 22-year-old openly gay player says he also received hurtful messages on social media after the game. Live music returns in 2022 with Concert in the Clouds, a unique music event with no cues or last-minute cancellations. Concert in the Clouds, exclusively on Listener. Australia needs six more wickets to go 4-0 up in its test series against England, with the visitors 4 for 174 at T on the final day in Sydney. Just one wicket fell during the middle session of play, with Joe Root caught behind off Scott Boland. And Ash Barty takes on Kazakhstan's Elena Rybakina shortly in the final at the Adelaide International. Selling the family home. John, will you first? Checking the forecast, cloud clearing across the limestone coast. Light winds for the rest of the day, down to a low of 11 degrees tonight. Tomorrow, warm and partly cloudy. And our listener app is your new home of local news. Join to listen live or on demand now.